Hello and welcome. I am Asra Aura, and today we are playing the hospital. Got a little theme going on here. First, we have the insane asylum. Now we got the hospital. Let's just get right into it and see what this is all about. Best experience with headphones. Got him. Adjust the brightness using the bar above so you can barely see the word crux. I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm blind, as you can see. Ooh, nice pizzies. <laughs> when the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who only got mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. Ironic, I actually have COVID right now. Luckily, it didn't affect me that bad. I checked into the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room. I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in the hospital across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become number, become a number, a statistic. Oh no. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I had them talking about having to put me under to incubate me if my conditioner got worse. Huh? Conditioner? <laughs> Condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die. Alone in this room, I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Ooh, this is a dark beginning. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. Should watch something on the TV, you know? Like my YouTube. He's not doing good. That stinks. Hopefully he gets better. Ooh! We're out of bed! I'm up? How am I on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint. Walk around using the WASD keys. Look at your mouse. Observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. A look with your mouse. Uh, the game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Perfect. Hospital bed, some chairs. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Huh. What visitor chairs? Ooh, what is this? Is this my breathing machine? Oh, it doesn't even give me the option. My bed. It looks as if I was recently made. When did I get off? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vac vacated. I spend days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Yeah, I can imagine laying around for so long. I did it for a week and I'm done. Medical device. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal. Beeping. The hiss and pump oxygen. Pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in the hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. Ooh. Bathroom. The bathroom appears to be locked. No? Okay, let's head out. Mm. Who's that? 
That person out there, maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Let's do it. Investigation. Oh, she disappeared. Is every where is everybody? I checked in here. These corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Hmm. How about fire extinguisher? Door. Locked. Strange. There are no signals. I could swear there were sign oh s signs. I could swear there were signs behind these doors. Cardiology observe obstetrics, radiology, etc. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see a thing through them. They don't want you to. Is this the room I just came from? I just stepped out of there, but it's sealed. That's odd. I don't remember seeing any locking mechanics. Mechanisms. I don't know how to read. Okay. Observe precautions. Stay safe. What's this? Chart? Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Hmm, something funky's going on around here. I'm not liking it. Everything's locked. How about this one? Nope. I saw the lady walk through this way. Sealed, just like the others. Hmm. Got nothing. Maybe down this hallway. Oh, this is the reception desk. Or the nurse's station. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two hardy but kindly nurses sitting beside this desk, answering calls, flipping papers, welcoming patients. Sure, they had their hands full. Yeah. Maybe we can just leave, you know? Probably not gonna happen. No luck. Did these doors open to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. <laughs> whoa, 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 girl, can you help me? I'm kind of trapped in this place. She's probably gone. Oh, she left the door open though. Thank God. Um, lady, where'd you go? Nothing in this door. How about this one? Nope. At least she left this one open for me too. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be some, someone, a nurse, a doctor who can help me t and tell me what's going on. We gotta find that lady. But it seems like every door is locked. It doesn't look like she left that door open for us. What? Someone on the other side of this door? It's open. Oh. Oh no. This room looks like the one I was in. But it's a mess. Yeah, they kind of left a little... A little dookie stain or something. They couldn't make it to the bathroom, I guess. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the patient departed. Uh. Oh no. Figure. The sound came from out here. Let's go investigate. That figure I saw on the TV, it reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream and I'm having my body lies in a, some kind of coma. That's believable. All right, let's head back this way. Seems like the door's cracked open. That lady, she's leading us somewhere. I can just know it. She's gotta be. Wait, wait, wait up for us. I'm gonna check this door first. Hey, sister, wait for us. 
Hmm, things are kind of a mess in this hallway. Nothing in there. A little gurney. Oh, this door's open. Oi! Okay, never mind. It's locked. Who shut the door? Is that a corpse in there? This is a dream. It's growing increasingly disturbing. Hmm. Maybe it's for the best that the door shut in our face. Is someone toying with me? Am I being in lead? That figure I saw. I agree. I think we're being. <gasps> there she is! Wait, wait! It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare, rather. Which I'm trapped. How can it be her? It's definitely her. Store shot. Oh. Okay. She just makes the lights creepier and creepier every corridor we go through. What? That's what I'm saying. How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they arranged. It looks like the apartment we, where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned, gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, never mind. We can't check it out now. Ooh, hey, girl, hey. Um, it can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's dead for four years. Oh, I get to pick. Naya, is that you? This isn't real, I'm dreaming. I'm gonna say, Naya, is that you? The same familiar silence. Is this some monster's dream? Memories of these horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life and I done if I had done things differently? And at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Naya. I'm sorry for what happened, Naya. We'll say sorry about that. Maybe she'll forgive us? Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Only cold silence. What does she want? Oh! What the heck? Naya? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seemed by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? Let's see what this is. Oh, Naya! I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. Why are you fighting? She was just 24, but by then, she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Aww. Erratic, violent shifts in temperature. Oh, temperament, not temperature. Rotting silences, fixed stares, and an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I, I tried to get her to get help, she refused. Then it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us. I ended our relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched into a grin. And then I saw what she was holding in her hand. Oh no. This is horrible. What's behind the door? Naya? Ooh, we're back in the hospital. What is this place? I don't know. This is some horror dream she's dragging you into. Maybe you should have thought about it before you left her. Oh, no, 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 no. Please.
please don't tell me that's her. Naya? Who would abandon a dead body here? The stretcher here is terrible. I should move on. Or the stench. I can imagine. Oof. Sorry, Naya. Oh no, no. Doesn't budge. Oh no, we gotta turn around. Now the light's flickering over her. It's not funny, Naya. She's doing this. I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Ooh, it's open now. Let's get out of here. Oh, great. This is much better. Not. Do I have to check everybody? Well, their feetsies are out. Ooh, I don't like that. Nobody moved, but I heard a noise. I think nobody moved, at least. Maybe it's coming from the vents? We can't even interact with that door. Let's tickle this one. <laughs> so funny. Get me out of here. Okay, let's check down this hallway. Hopefully this door is open. Nothing there. Oh, I see a little crack in this door, though. Please don't be another hallway of bodies. Oh no, there she is. And she slammed the door. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grabbed the blade away, and sub subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. Oh no. It's not your fault, buddy. It's nobody's fault. Naya, oh god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note, your last words. <laughs> oh. What do you want from me, Naya? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Hmm. Poor Naya. Poor. Hey girl, you're looking a lot better. Naya, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. Oh no, she's gonna be closer. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps then been more compassionate, you might still be alive. <laughs> Keep running. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. We're good. It's okay. What? I... I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Naya. What the heck? Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by the past? Am I in a coma? Trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream, born of guilt? 
or am I dead? And is this my afterlife? These dread halls and tormented souls stalking me for all eternity? I sure hope not. The end? That's it? That's how they left us off? N Naya didn't give us any closure? <laughs> Well, she seemed like she enjoyed it, though. Dang. That one was dark. Definitely dark. But, um... Sheesh. I gotta recover from that one. That was crazy. Well, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.